What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going over the 6-8 maintenance on JP, and uh, talking about the update guys, so <laughs> I just hopped on Twitter, first thing I hopped on Twitter, I already saw Nagato's tweet about it, but uh, guys, look what we got going on, we got Tristan in the game, he is the, this is the first um, 4 Koa character to actually release, so this is absolutely insane, so we're, we're gonna hop in and we're gonna discuss it, I literally just woke up, so bear with me. Um, the Arthur is also available as well. It looks like the Arthur is uh, just like the uh, Excalibur Arthur, um, the exact same one. But um, Prince Tristan will be added with equipment stamp uh, um, characters after the maintenance on uh, Thursday, June 8th. Yo, this is crazy. Let's check the banner. So we have brand new Tristan. Um, his banner is not great. <laughs> I'll say that. His banner is definitely not great, but he's a 600 pity banner. I'm curious to see what his kit is. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's see. Let's see, guys. I'm curious. He's a backline unit? Oh, wait. Okay. Translate text here. Let's let's hop in. Okay, let's see what he's able to do. Um, Japanese to English. Alright. Okay. If one of the uh, uh, demon allies participating in battle... For every demon ally participating in battle attack related abilities of demon allies increased by 3% for every goddess ally... Uh, in the battle, the defense-related abilities of Goddess allies increased by 15%. Wow, so a demon backline and a Goddess backline. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, and then his first skill is going to be remove the, the standalone. Okay, so a stun. And then his second ability is going to be give one cure um, to all allies if under the debuff effect after releasing. Okay, so this is like Elizabeth's card. Um, the Elizabeth Hawk, so it's like a solidify, solidify and stun, but a backline support. Wow. Okay. And then for his ultimate, get secret technique. Yo. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Here's secret technique. Uh, deals 450 percent of attack. Uh, to all enemies, the the damage always deals uh advantage. Uh, you know, damage and then additional 60 per uh skill. Uh, in number uh, of the character. So, yo. That that's dope, man. I, I you know what? I'm not I'm not even like mad because this is Kid Tristan, by the way, guys. This is Kid Tristan from the movie, uh, from the looks of it, right? Yeah, it, it's Kid Tristan from the movie, so that's crazy. So, hey, man, we got a demon backline and a goddess backline. That's actually not bad at all. Um, okay, let's look at the Arthur now and see what he's doing. Um, let's see translate text here. And uh, why is it, bro? Why does it start? Um, Flip flop these. Oh wait, no. It has to be Japanese uh, to English. There we are. Okay. Every human ally participating in battle, the maximum HP of human allies increased by 10%. Uh, every time I take a position, so every time you stance up, debuff effects on allies are removed by one per debuff effect on ally. Your allies' crit defense increases by five percent up to t uh, ten times. And he's a oh, he's a backline like he's a backline support too. Wow. Okay, first skill is going to be uh, Gauge Reduction Single Target, okay. And then uh, his stance skill is going to be set to disable debuff effects for two turns. At the start of the next turn to provoke enemy, recover 50% of reduced HP. Wow, that's not bad. Or like a diminished HP stance and then detonate all. Yo, guys, this is actually kind of cool, bro. What the hell? Okay. I'm not going to lie. These two characters, not designed badly. Honestly, this is a seasonal banner too. It has some seasonals on it. Um, yeah. Okay. Yo, I'm, I'm excited. That's that's cool. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so we got movie Tristan and Excalibur Arthur. We, we saw the kids. So we have a demon and goddess backline support. And we have a human backline support. Very cool. Okay, guys. So moving on. New Knights content. So the Knights content uh, command system. Um, we will add a knight uh, order system to allow each knight to cooperate and earn rewards. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be another guild activity. Okay, so it's going to be 50k, and uh, looks like there's some like score points, and then looks like there's some rewards as well. Okay, depending on the box, you get some rewards too, and then I guess these are just going to be the like regular rewards. Yeah, I'm not really too sure. <laughs> Okay, so they're bringing back the uh, Guild Thunder for PvP as well. Top 100 Guild Thunder, very cool. Um, they do got the packs for Tristan. Okay, they have a pack for the Chaos and Constellation now too. Um, okay, and then they got a... Whoa, they got a pack where you get all Demonic Beast mats. Wow, that, that's actually a pretty good pack. That's pretty cool. 
And then they got the uh, 15 gems right there. Um, reset, uh, reset purchase limit for the four types of anniversary packs. Um, oh, so you're able to buy this again. Okay, okay, that's very cool. And then we have the fourth anniversary greed festival login part three. So this is where the this is where you get the uh, uh, what's it called the pink tickets, guys. As I said, we were gonna be getting this from the, from the update anyway, regardless. So there you go, man. Hey, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is the outfit for Elaine and Vaughn. I was about to say. So you get a a Mark II Valenti, Ragnarok Von Donar, and then the Arthur too. Wait, let me see if that's the case. Yo, you do. <laughs> Yo, guys, this is, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. This is a crazy update, man. This is crazy. You get a free Mark II Valenti, free Ragnarok Bond, free Donar, right, Donar? Free, by the way, all free. Um, New Bond outfit, new Elaine outfit, and the new Arthur as well. The new Arthur is now you are level 90, though. Okay, that's kind of weird, but, you know, there's that. And then, uh, yes, yeah, so we got the uh, tickets as well. It comes with the Jumping Hawk uh, tickets as well. You are pending at the very end of that. Very cool. And then we got this new, what is this, Twigo? <laughs> Twigo event. Um, I don't know exactly what this event's about, but you do get rewards. And it looks like, a, whoa, dude, wait, the rewards are actually really good. Okay. I'm liking it. And you get uh, Hog Jumping Box uh, tickets too. And then uh, Bond got a new outfit. The, uh, wow, wait. Okay. Costume for the new character f will be released during maintenance on. Oh. Okay, so the maintenance on thing we're gonna be getting outfits for Tristan. So right now we're not getting outfits for him. Wait, <laughs> so what's going on? Okay, so we have Bon Bon got an outfit though, and then uh, rerunning of these outfits as well. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that's nice. Uh, event Super Boss return Meliodas and Elizabeth. Okay, so Meli and Elizabeth final boss is rerunning. Yo, guys, this okay. <laughs> This update's crazy, man. There's so much stuff in this update. Yo! This is a W part 2. I can't even lie, man. I can't even lie. It's a W part 2. So, yeah, I, I kind of brushed over this, but look at all the hog uh, jumping uh, tickets. You got, like, gems, obviously, from Final Boss. You got some rewards. You get the Melly outfit. You get the Elizabeth outfit, too. Yo, very, very cool, guys. You got the green red demon. Uh, so, pretty much, it's the red demon reskinned as a green demon. Um, so his name, I forget his exact name, but he's going to be available on JP. Um, you get the uh, hog jumping tickets as well. That's from that one. And then you get the pi uh, pink ones from this guy. Um, and the, pr uh, the blue ones from the other guy. And then uh, the uh, uh, Solgris Reward Dungeon thing. Um, they changed it from the uh, SA coins to uh, the books now. You know, we'll take it, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sad that the gem part already left, but you know, it is okay. Um, the uh, greed training event, so I guess this is just your dailies just got upgraded as well um, The battle event and then uh, what do we got here? So night boss subjugation battle improved display of the words. Oh wow Yeah, they displayed the rewards now. So it looks a lot better. I like that. I actually do like that um, Very very cool and then uh, improved PvP display so It looks a little bit better and it tells you the season. Okay, and then uh, yeah, oh character balance adjustment Okay, so Bon Buff, let's see. I'm curious to see what they did to him now. Okay, Japanese to English. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so much. Okay. So before, uh, this is all the stuff he did. Okay, so now let's see what he does. When the battle starts, you grant yourself an area of robberies for one particular ally in battle. Uh, the H-related ability of the particular ally increases by 5%. Um, oh, wait, that particular ally is now Seven Deadly Sins, Fairy, and Human. Wow, so they made him a Human unit, a Fairy unit, and a Seven Deadly Sins character. Really good. Also, the enemy, depending on the sign effect of the concentration, when you use the skill, critical damage occurs. So whenever you have the concentration on the enemy, you just do it. Okay, so concentration mark. Critical probability 100, uh, minus 100%. Area of robbery is damage to, to a particular ally. Reduced by 20%. And added damage to yourself... Uh, and added damage reduction to yourself by 20%. Okay, so you get 40% for Vaughn himself. In addition, a certain ally is, uh, is in the turn of an ally skill allows you to, uh, all enemies attack. Okay, so the attack related lower is still the same. It's 2% reduction up to 5 times. But the granted now is for 7 deadly sins, fairy tribe, and human tribe. Wow, okay. And then uh, first ultimate, the attack related ability, it starts at 15% now at, at uh, 1 out of 6, and then it goes up to 30% at 6 out of 6. Is that a good buff? 
have to think about that. They didn't touch this, the skills, right? They didn't touch the skills. They only touched the the passive. Hmm. Human, fairy, and seven deadly sins. I'll have to think about that, man. I really will. I don't think that's going to make Bond so crazy or anything like that, but that's still not bad. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. We're definitely going to talk about this on the podcast, man. So if you guys are, uh, you know, going to come through for the podcast today, definitely come through. Um, but yeah, man. The update, you got Tristan Bond buff, uh, free Donar, free Ragnar Bond, free Mark Tibalenti. Yo, <laughs> final boss. Yo, oh my gosh. Okay. That's a part two of the anniversary. Very, very dope. So far, I can't even lie. This has to be best anniversary. Just, just from the events, guys. Just from the events alone, I think this is best anniversary. Yeah, I think it is. So that's just that's just crazy so thank you guys for watching the video that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day